All right, this is a 1958 International Harvester Farm Oil Cub. I'm going to show you the actual purpose of this hold-up pin. As you can see, right now I've got the hold-up pin in place. It just goes into a 5 8 hole on the fast hitch with a cotter pin. It comes up here and is held on the bar. The purpose of this is when I lower this particular mower, and this is the only mower that works with the fast hitch. It's a, a C3 mower, International Harvester. Um, and what I wanted to do here is, is when you lower the fast hitch down with this mower on, or when you lower the, the hydraulics and you want to lower the mower, the fast hitch will go all the way down to the ground, which you don't want because it can catch on things and snag. So we use the hold up pin here, which keeps it out of the way. What you have to do, as well as put the hold up pin on, is you must remove this little piece or loosen it and then retighten it. That normally sits right here. And what that does is that's what actually controls the fast hitch. I'm going to show you here what it'll do. You're going to see that this will not lower. I've got the mower lowered down bringing the mower back up. Fast hitch stays in place. You don't have to worry about taking it off. You also don't have to worry about taking this piece off. It's kind of a pain in the butt as well. Now, this is the 90 degree gearbox by International Harvester as well. This is what runs the C3 mower. You can see the place for the fast hitch, and the fast hitch does not run into this. That's very good. This mower works surprisingly well. I'm actually pretty impressed with it. The only thing is you have to remember is this doesn't have a clutch in it. So well, the, the mower doesn't. Um, so the centrifugal force will keep you moving, so you have to slow, start slowing down a little faster, or a little sooner. Um, starting it as well, you got to feather the clutch a little bit to get it going. I have a bunch of stickers, once I clean this up, finish touching up the paint on it, um, I got a bunch of stickers for this, the originals. Now this particular one I have modified, it's not 100% original. Um, the front here is modified with a channel, inch and a half channel, all the way to stiffen it. And it is inch and a half channel on the sides as well. This is originally just 12 gauge sheet metal that was broke. Most of these guys crack um, where you have your braces and back here, and they also crack in the center. And I have braced all this up so you won't have any of those problems ever again. I had the front uh, skirt on there. Do not have the rear skirts on at this moment in time, but those are easy to put on. All right, now I'm going to show you a little bit of video of this uh, thing in action.
Alright, uh, since I took the other video showing you the fast uh, hitch hold up pin, I have installed the um, guard, the belt guard. I've got all the stickers and things, like I said before, on this. And uh, I am going to place those on this uh, mower. So it can be all yeah, close to original, just fun. I'm not really going for uh, any kind of originality, but. I just thought it'd be fun to put the original stickers on. I had to just uh, quickly mock up this little bracket. Uh, this thing is a little flimsy, and I put that on there just to hold it in place. Alright, so the ride along. Tall grass here. Taking it out pretty good. done but when I cleaned it up a little bit more and uh, added a few things added some stickers here now these would have been uh, original factory stickers One on the other side here. In any sense, in uh, putting these stickers on here, it was just uh, pure for fun. But it did a really wonderful job mowing. Took care of a lot of property. Keep watching for uh, keep watching my channel for other cub builds. Uh, the next mower I'll be doing is the International C2, and uh, as you can see, I've already remanufactured the skids. Um, I just need to take it down, clean it, uh, put a new bearing in the clutch there. And this tractor also needs a new starter, or I need to rebuild the existing one. But I have the six stickers for this mower as well. This is a uh, 59. The other one that you saw earlier was a 1958.